Alright, so here we are in the uh, bright and sunny Mackenzie country in the South Island of New Zealand. It's uh, Tuesday the 19th of November uh, down the South Island of New Zealand. So it's about one o'clock in the day and that's the beautiful terrain of the iconic Mackenzie country that we have. Um, and as part of our High Country Forage Project at Lincoln University, we're looking at uh, growing the perennial lupin as a grazing forest for merino ewes. So here's the ewes, um, some of the mob here. They came on about a month and a half ago, or um, 45 days. Uh, and so they're grazing this 10 hectare block of perennial lupins. Now, there's a mob of about 100 uh, ewes with their lambs at feet, as you can see. Now they're looking reasonably solid. They came on here a month and a half ago, lambs still in their bellies, so got some good growth there. And this is part of our perennial lupin crop here. So today we've just done a dry matter harvest. As I walk through, you'll get to see this. So we use a sickle bar cutter. And this is sort of what you end up with afterwards. It's this mowen strip. So if I put the height stick down there, it ends up, she is pretty low, down around sort of five centimetres, even lower. If I move it to an adjacent, sort of somewhere close to it, we end up with plants sort of sitting in that sort of, about on the one metre, maybe just a bit over, one metre of five mark. And as you can see right next to us, the height stick is 1.2 metres tall and we've got a plant pretty much nigh on level with it. So we do this dry matter harvest every month over the summer and uh, we'll be able to see as I come up to the fence here the difference in flowers. So the sheep tend to go for the flowers first. Uh, they tend to like the flowers on the lupin. Those of you who have driven through the Mackenzie country in the heat of summer would have seen plenty of these lining the roadside. So they're quite a nice looking uh, flower there. As you can see, and now you'll also notice there's a lot more resident grass species sticking up in between the lupins here. So they've certainly grazed that out in the plot over, coming into a bit of nice lush Italian ryegrass here. And uh, you can see as in here that the lupins are pretty tall. Um, on a quick calculation, we're looking between about 13 to 15, maybe 16 tonne of standing dry matter here. How much of that is um, going to be grazed is, uh, we'll have to get back to you on that one. If I put the height stick in here, we're sitting at about a constant 1.2 metres. So you can see that that's 120 centimetres right up there. And looking pretty magnificent really. Uh, so this is the block that has not been grazed yet. And they've sort of been set stocked on the other four parts of this grazing experiment. So you won't see any flowers over the rest of these blocks. So I'm doing a PhD and uh, my supervisor, Dr. Alison Black, is walking back over there and our lovely French intern, young Catherine. So it's always nice to have photos of these and it's good to see the sheep out here grazing. You can see a bit of variation of flower colour there. Uh, and yeah, you can see that this is nice and thick. I mean, walking through it, it's up to my uh, hips. So pretty nice indeed, if I put the height stick in again just here. Sort of looking around that one metre mark. Uh, flowers are a little bit taller than that. We're not quite in full bloom yet. You can see they haven't quite extended and opened out yet. Um, if we come back in full bloom, this would just be a huge paddock of colour really. Uh, and then they start to get up above sort of 1.2 metres. They tend to come up to my shoulders about uh, one and a half metres and uh, it's anyone's guess as to what sort of yield we'll have on offer then uh, and again as you can see here plenty of driving through trying to get to where we're mowing these plots so here's another mowing strip cut down to a nice low residual put, put my height stick in have a look at where we are again we're sitting at that about one metre ten mark uh, so plenty of dry matter on offer and now we will take this back to uh, Lincoln University and do the yield various quality, uh, dry matter percentage and also the botanical composition 
of these. So that's about it for the uh, 19th of November harvest. So she's looking pretty good. Lambs and ewes are looking quite happy. Um, and so I guess we'll have a look again in a wee while. This is the machine we use to do the cut. So you can see she's got a big sickle bar mower on there. And even at the height of these last year, I can't say I've ever had to cut myself into a plot before I've had to do the harvest itself. So I had to cut myself in and then um, cut myself back out. So it's certainly a lot of vegetation here on offer. And as you can see in the land next door, that's the typical resident vegetation around here. And then we come into this, which is nice green. Um, the lupins obviously being a legume, promoting lots of nitrogen fixation. Nice green grass all sitting around here. And we're rebuilding that soil organic matter, so it's looking quite good. In the paddocks next door, we have got the uh, lucerne. So we'll have a look at the lucerne another day. But uh, in the meantime, good afternoon, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.